<sighs> like if I had a shank in my leg, I would probably just lie against the wall, lean against the wall, and and stretch my legs out. I think, probably not a position like that. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I I kind of see what you mean, but it never really stood out to me before. Not let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. I'm up for anything. Come on, we got work to do. If I can do it, is the next question. Yes, but I'm up for it. Head to the lab. The cable car will take us down. Oh yes, the cable car. There was something about that, wasn't there? It's a nest. There's also. Hold on a second. There's some Mac ammo down there. Nice. Where'd you get that? Yeah, anyway, I'm going the other way. I'll be back real quick. Just <laughs> I just want I've to got something more important, Ada. I I got to I have some mag ammo. Like <laughs> I got to have it, man. I got to. I've got an addiction that needs feeding. Mm -hmm. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more mag ammo. But did you notice, Bodo, how, like, that um, monster had, like, um, morphed a little bit uh, when you first met him? Because when you first met him, he was basically, like, he was more humanoid. Like, he actually had a human head. Oh, that was the same guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Then yes. But this time, the head was, like, sort of on his chest. Mm. And he became more, more, uh... Abomination like looking. Yeah. Let me carry you. No. That only make me feel worse. Okay, for some reason this room is still marked in red. I don't see anything. Oh, it's it's to. the plugs. Ah, okay. They <laughs> I could pull those out. Worse than mm, can I still no use looks. them is the question. No. Just leave them by dark. Yeah. <laughs> well there's no tick, so I don't know. Whatever. I don't feel like carrying chess piece plugs around with me all the time. <laughs> Even if they're very elaborate looking. Maybe, do you think, if you were Leon, do you think you would keep one as a souvenir? I'd take the knight. Or the rook. Yeah. I don't know, for some reason I, I always liked uh, the looks of these two pieces. Well, I don't really like the knight because... It's not a knight, the horse. Yeah, well, in, in, in the German version, it's not called knight a, at all, so Here maybe that's why I sort of liked it. Uh, you would translate it to jumper, pretty much. Jumper? <laughs> yeah, because that's what he does. He, he sort of can jump pretty much over anything <laughs> in his path. Ah, interesting. But jumper. It, it took me quite a few years to realize that he was actually called knight in the uh, English language. First things first, let's check out if there's anything else to be had. Well, the bottom waterway, but I don't want to go there, to be honest. Uh, no, looks fine. Let's go. They ride, so be prepared, Leon. <sighs> I'm prepared for anything. I'm so glad that we um, that we've completed the sewer, though. Like. Yeah. In kind of one one setting, because uh, I was kind of worried that this would be like, you know, an ongoing thing. Uh, going back to the sewers. And yeah. The sewers, and the sewers. <laughs> Do not exit until the final destination. Yeah. I'm I'm glad we are out of this place as well, man. Yeah. We're at the final stretch of the game now. Very nice. You know well, not the final stretch of the I game, can't wait but of the story anyway. And take yeah. those bastards to justice. We've got our goal well in sight. Clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G virus, but if, I'm if back this on was the end of the game, would you would be kind of disappointed though, wouldn't yeah. you? If it would end Trust just me? right there and then. Yeah. Hell yes. Like, what sort of conclusion Trust was me? that then? <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Well, let's say if there were only like two more hours. I thought I might. Wouldn't you feel help, kind of shortchanged? I was right. You uh, well, the G -virus, I mean, I, sure I did enjoy my time, and even if it's just yeah. a short time, I wouldn't be Save mad yourself. about it. I mean, sure, case, I, I would have wished for more, but 
I, I did enjoy what I played so far, so even if it was over soon, then I'd be like, okay, at least what I had was cool. Yeah, I, I, I tend to feel like that as well. Uh, okay, that came out of nowhere. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Maybe she just wanted some through. some decent human being, and he's the only decent being around here. I can only live for it. Trust me. He's the only being. Now, so. Not not yes. that Leon isn't a nice guy or anything. Go. That sounded a little harsh. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Ah, oh, yeah, wristbands. Nice. Okay. I've got to Leon. go. Counting on you. I leave it all behind. Face the truth, Mama. Ooh. Ada. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't I don't mean to die. make you cry. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on, as if nothing really matters. That was lovely, man. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, another funny story. Um, I've been at a colleague's uh, place uh, just a few days ago, and we did end up drinking a few beers, and we also made a little music. What we did play was uh, like father, like son. You ah. know, he he I pulled out his guitar. Yeah. I did. Is that the fun? I think I did the father voice, and he did the son's voice. <laughs> that was nice. He did record it as well, so uh, you might be able to listen to it. You, you must have had a lot of uh, practice singing, by the way, with all the karaoke. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I, I don't know, man. For some reason, I'm really into singing over the last few weeks. By all means, Bodo. Welcome Feel free to, to sing for the next of the stream. Enjoy your visit. Oh my god. The rest of the stream I meant to say. <laughs> I think I know what you meant to say. But, uh... Okay. I think I I'll take is. another break right now. We did play okay. for, for two hours again. <laughs> Time just flies. Also, it's getting a wee bit late. So, we'll carry on where we were tomorrow I think yeah okay just one thing uh, I found a nap room lock I want to skip through this real quick okay there's a f not that many entries uh, Toby Jackson and Sara Takahashi Walt Page Anthony White Cyril Archer Desmond Luck Wayne Lee entered but never left all right Wayne hang on hang on by though though go through that door there there's pizza to be had Pizza? Oh my god, pizza, 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 blah, blah, blah. Which door then? That one? Main shaft? Access. Denied. Oh. Security room? There's gotta be pizza in here. Every, every, every security man who's worth his salt has to have pizza. Oh, there's even a cafeteria here. You could be a I good... I just saw it on the map. Dude, you could be a good guardman. Like, you have everything that it requires. Like, you like pizza and computers. So. <laughs> yeah, and bed covered in blood. My favorite thing. Nice. <laughs> Research lab north area. Oh, map. Perfect. Look, there's pizza. Amazingly, it still looks fresh. Hmm. I wonder how old it actually is. Some sick bums. Hmm. Want to take a bite and find out then? I That's love pepperoni. Them. Pepperonis! <sighs> Pretty sure. I'm positive about that. If I know one thing, it's pizza, man, let me tell you. And there's chips around as well. And even beer. Chips, beer. Oh, yes! Yeah, of course. As, as a guardsman, you also need to drink beer like. 24-7. Like, you, al that... you already go to the job slightly inebriated <laughs> and you leave completely fucking pissed. That That's how you do it. I'm guessing this guy was pretty overweight, though. 
That isn't isn't that how they usually look like depicted like I mean these these typical guards like oh yeah they're always they always have a mustache they always look slightly greasy and they're always fat for some reason yeah well it's because they're just sitting around like watching a screen and eating basically yeah <laughs> so I mean, like what we do <laughs> oh my gosh now that you mention it. I just had a realization. <laughs> I, oh my god. Oh well. Oh, let's let's see if you unlocked any more uh, models and stuff. Yes. Let's, let's take a quick look then. Start game. Tell me all about it. I unlocked a model of Ada in trench coat. Nice. I unlocked concept arts. A model of the W870, a model of Claire with jacket, and a model of G Adult. G Adult. G Adult! Gangster Adult! Nice! <laughs> He's the real G. Let's check out their models, boy. Gotta say, the, the Noir outfit for Leon does look very snappy. Why don't you equip it then, Boido? I don't know, it doesn't feel right. For my first playthrough, I want to go with what the game gives me. That's always yeah, the but... case. <laughs> if you like it, you should just wear it, I think. No. But isn't that the um the, the, the dongle on his belt? Uh, yeah, yeah, the badge, but th <laughs> that must be the dongle thing. That's right. That's probably it. <laughs> I wonder if he also like puts the gun away in the holster there. If it just disappears. I think he does because um, I noticed that on Claire's outfit, she does actually put her weapons away in different places. Oh my God! Did you see that? Claire fans the hammer. Like, look at this! Bam, 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 bam. Holy shit! Nice. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Ada trench coat. Yeah, and the, and the, uh, I won't say anything actually. <laughs> yes, please don't. It's just a walking cycle. She's turning around. That's what Ada's known best for. Walking. Yo, Marth. Well, I, I really like how she looks in the trench coat, though. Like, I like that more than the red dress, personally. Yeah, trench coats are always cool. Zombie male. I don't know if I don't know if you saw this photo, but when you go on the zombie bit, um, the last zombie, have a look at that one. It's it's Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Our officer guy. You mean Marvin? Ah, uh, yeah, him. <laughs> Kevin, Marvin. What's the difference? I I saw this guy on Twitter. The guy who um was used as a model for this guy and oh. people send him pictures of, of Marvin after they've like blown his head off <laughs> oh no <laughs> what you gonna do now huh huh <laughs> and he's like I, I can't remember what he said exactly but it's like you know thank you for all the horrible things you've done to me or something <laughs> like that <laughs> oh my god I see so that's what a liquor looks like close up. But I, I like I like the G adult model Bodo, because like I like because when you look at the human part, it looks like there's this like massive weight bearing down on him. I think it's kinda Give me a cool. Second. Ah, those are the G adults, I see. Those big fleshy things. Oh yeah, and the liquor has like it has like a tailbone. Does it? I need to look yeah. at that in a second. Did you know that humans actually have tailbones like that? Yeah, even though they're completely obsolete. Yeah. But look how, doesn't that just look so like, there's really a sense of weight, I think, to that animation. Yeah. Like, when you see it like that. And also, this entire thing, uh, this entire, uh, whatever you want to call it, the, the G-Adult, it really reminds me of John Carpenter's The Thing. Especially yeah. this specific animation where its head just splits open and the tentacle comes out. 
yeah, that's exactly it. And, and I'm still curious to know if there's like a specific word for, for that type of uh, horror. Uh, there's probably something, isn't that? Does it go in the direction of body horror? I think so, yeah. Very organic sort of horror. I like that shit though. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Look at our liquor. Okay, this is the most awkward position to look at his butt, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tailbone, that's true. <laughs> He's all brain, no eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what, like... Oh my god. Is that his arsehole? Yep. <laughs> you can see his arsehole. Lickers have arseholes, man. <laughs> they need to poop too, okay? Oh my god. I wonder, I, if, I wonder if that here is actually, you know, a retracted dick or something. <laughs> eee, tickle, tickle, tickle. Eee. <laughs> oh my god. This is I wonder... You know what I'm curious about, Bodo? What? Like, what does that metamorphosis look like? Like, the process of, like, a human or a zombie becoming a liquor. I'm curious to see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, the transformation. Yeah. Yeah. I always love that shit. Like, do, do you remember the film that we watched many, many years ago? Um, uh, Fright Night. Oh, yeah, yeah. It had a lot of cool transformations like that going on. That's why I liked the film so much when I was younger. It did? Yeah. Like... There's, there's this one part where um, Evil Ed turns from a wolf back to a humanoid, like with with uh, his 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 limbs growing back and uh, the fur disappearing and stuff like that. And then there is this one place where um, the henchman of the vampire gets shot, and he sort of melts away, like his entire face just gives 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 way for the flesh and the bones and what's beneath it. Oh, there, was, there was some good stuff to be had there. Also, another film that goes into the same direction is uh, American Werewolf in Something Something. That one is also a good film. Uh, funny sometimes. It has a weird <laughs> sense of humor, but uh, it has great special effects. Interesting. Well, I gotta I got be honest, but the only thing I remember in Fright Night was the vampire. I don't remember that being a werewolf. Well, um, it's not a werewolf, but in this film, vampires have the power to turn themselves into wolves. Okay. Because that that's actually what the original depiction of vampires was, that they would be able to turn themselves into bats, wolves, and mist. Uh, Those were the three transformations a vampire could do. I do remember him turning into a skeleton at the end. Yeah, that one, that effect was pretty, pretty fucking sweet. I like that. Also, there was this, this particular disco scene where he was trying to seduce uh, Charlie's girlfriend, and uh, one of the bouncers uh, was going up to him to like, "Hey, dude, you can't be here. Whatever you're doing, stop it." And he had these 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 red glowy eyes and really long talons and was just slicing this guy's neck <laughs> open. So that was, yeah, oh, wow. that was something. I can tell this this film left quite an impact on you, Bodo. It did. It did. I watched that so many times. I just loved it, even though uh, in, in, in one of the last scenes when Charlie is in the cellar and he wants to find his girlfriend Amy, but she's already turned, and she she turns around to him and she has this horrifying this horrifying face with those big gaping eyes and <laughs> and the big the big wide mouth with with those fangs. Oh man, I really oh, man. had. I re that really gave me a scare the first time I saw it, and like, and the thing that they trick you with is like she has, um, she uses her hands to cover her face so you don't see her or whatever, and then uh, the camera uh, gets into position and she just raises her head and she has this horrifying face. Oh my god, <laughs> that sent that's, shivers down my spine. That's the face I make whenever I'm about to eat a burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, but. I think I'll call it quits for now, man. Whew, yeah. That was fun. Even though we spent the last uh, 10 minutes only talking about some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy doing that. So I'll just yeah. stop the recording right there and then. That's what usually happens. <laughs>